What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Fishing with Rock Official. Today, we're going to show you how to downrig. That's downrigging right there. That rod pop up, boom, fishy. fishy Emmett, Emmett wants a salmon because he likes salmon. Emmett, which rod do you think is going to win? Do, do, do. I think it's blue spoon or this one because blue spoon worked for us in fishing with Uncle Steve. I don't want to waste your time, but thinking of you is how I spend mine. Tell me, baby, baby, what's your sign? Cause you're astronomically fine. And all I do is think of you. Baby, all I do is this. Hello. Before we get started, the most important thing of fishing before you go is a prep work. Here we have our two downrigging rods. This one is already screwing up. And if you come over here, I will show you the setup. First step, string the rods. This right here is what's known as a flasher. This represents bait fish. And what it does is it spins underwater, it attracts the fish, and then they look at the sam- well, this is what you call right here a salmon hoochie. And what this does is they get attracted to this and then they see something else flashing like this and they see that and then they go and then they get hooked. That's the whole point, you can't see the hooks. So neither can the fish. Let's see how strong this knot is. Oh, it's gonna do. I will start from the top and we'll work our way down to the bottom. Starting off, we have our regular fishing line and we have a connect to the swivel right here. And the swivel right here is connected to this flasher. Then this flasher is connected to this swivel. You tie your line on this part of the swivel. And then we made it about 36 inches. And at the bottom we have the salmon hoochie. That's one rod down. For our second rod, we're just gonna put a plain spoon on. This rod has braided line. And I don't know if you know about this, but fish can see braided line in the water. That is why we're gonna put the swivel on and we're gonna tie floral carbon leader to the swivel, the other end of the swivel. And then we're gonna tie the leader. Step one, swivel. Very tiny. Next, you're gonna need floral carbon leader. And this stuff is 20 pounds, pretty tough. And the good thing about it is, it's invisible. Which means the fish won't see it. The next thing you're gonna do is cut down three feet below the floral carbon leader. Snibbity boo. Fun fact, when you're using a spoon, you do not use a snap swivel. You just use a mustard snap, or really any type of snap. Evo Tommy on a spoon, the the snap swivel actually absorbs some of the action from the spoon, so your spoon will not spin and flash. Thanks, Evo. <laughs> okay, let's get us back on track here, folks. Once your leader's on, pick your favorite spoon. Hmm, which one should I take? We're gonna go with the old trusty blue spoon. I recommend using blue, but really, anything can work. We got all this stuff from DNR Sporting Goods. Two downrigger rods ready for action. We'll see you on the water. I just remembered something. For Lake Superior, you're allowed to use two rods. These are gonna be the lures that we put on our other two fishing rods. We're gonna go with the Husky Jerk, made by Rapala. And this one right here, is the Rapala Countdown Sinking. Hopefully a giant salmon comes and eats it. Trolling, 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 trolling. Here we are with the two rods I've chosen. The old trusty ugly stick, spinner rod, 10 pound mono line, and the Quantum Pulse Baitcaster. It is a Berkeley Lightning Rod, and it has 10 pound mono on as well. Here we go. And now, hello. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back. We're coming out. Emmett, where are we? We're 
my screen glass in the map. Yeah. We're in Little Trout Bay boat launch. This is Little Trout Bay on the open Lake Superior. And it's in channel mode right now. <laughs> Little Trout Bay on Superior. Under here. Under here. Hey, here I am. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to catch Up a big fish? Here. Emmett, we're gonna catch a big fish today? Yes. Here we go again. We're on Little Trout Bay in Open Lake Superior. And today we are going to show you how to downrig. Hopefully we get some fish. First, take the whole rod out. I won't get hooked. Get up some line. One to 20. It's good to have a rod with a line counter on it. Because then you can tell how much feet. Let's see, how many feet did you let out? I let out 20 feet. Put the rod back in the rod holder. Gently take this cannonball off. Let it just dangle? Yep, that's fine. And then you're going to grab this green clip right here. And then just put it in there. Then, you're going to stick your rod up. So you see your clip is attached to the line and what happens is when the fish bites that clip comes out and the and then your rod is going to be bending while that's happening so when the fish bite and the clip comes out your rod's just going to go boing right up and that's how you know you have a fish so drag first make sure your drag is very loose and then stick it back in here and then that's as far as it'll go my dad's going to do this one because this part i'm probably going to destroy the whole boat on yeah. So you ask, ask mom, Do how many it? feet down are we? Uh, 78. We're, we're at 78 feet. So we have to set this downrigger at 60. Let's do it. Yep. Cannonball going down. Oh man, the water is crystal clear. Tighten up the rod hose, point it tight. And make sure the line is going straight down. That's when you have to okay. and stop reeling. I tell you down rig, onto the second rod. When that rod pops up, that's gonna be a fish. Okay, that one's at 70 feet. We're down rigging. We're going at two kilometers an hour and we're at 79 feet of water. You have to go to the bathroom already too? Okay. Sometimes salmon run kind of, you know, up in the surface. So I'm going to be trolling with the husky jerk made from Rapala. Husky. It dives 13 to 14 feet. Molly likes huskies because they're her favorite dog and she really wants to get one. Sorry we don't own a dog yet. Soon. Soon we will. Okay, I'll, I'll drive. We have one! Yeah, I'll drive. Got one. We got one. Yeah, we got we one. We can complete. Three and good tonight. What's up? So we're free setting those rod again. Let's see if we can get another epic battle with a fish. So the tighter you put it, the harder it is for the fish to rip out. So I would prefer to put it very light. We're at 45 feet. Put this rod at a good depth. Oh, I popped it out. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. How's your Pepsi, buddy? That's a good school. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. it we're hooked on a salmon. Is it recording? See the way out there, Rod? Yeah, I see a. I don't know, 
of you guys. It's a salmon. It's a Okay, Dad, you can't lose this fish. Oh, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> okay, Molly, you keep it right there. Okay, we'll reel this guy in. I saw the stripes. This is no lake trout. I saw it, and there's no spots. All right, here we go. This is a, this is a minute oh, fight. Everybody this fight has been one minute. Us. One minute and nine seconds. So what is this, Brock? This is what you call a steelhead. They look like you can sand. touch it, Molly. It's slimy. I'm just saying, but go ahead. Look. Whoa! Okay, Molly, you can try. You can try to touch him. Oh, he's mad. Oh yeah. Let's measure. Beautiful fish. Get the board. Let's measure. 16 and a half inches. What in the world? What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What, what? is that? Brock, bring that over here. That's not a, that's no lake trout. What happened? What the heck is this garbage? That's whatever we hooked 
that's what we hooked and it spit it out. Uh, well, at least we got it, Dad! We got to see it! Yeah, what kind of fish is it gonna be? We have it on tape? Uh. Sweet! <laughs> that's disgusting! That's that what gross. in the world? Look at the, something trying to eat our fish that we hooked into. Something ate the fish that we hooked into. Yeah, I was like, what the heck is this? So, today was pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. We pulled a fit, a uh, digested fish out of a bigger fish. There's a pike. We got one lake trout, one steelhead, had a bite from a 20 inch lake trout, and got another baby lake trout, and got another baby lake trout. So today was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So we had a really good day, just to show you what we caught. Got a lake trout, a steelhead, and then another lake trout. Woo, had a really good day. Don't forget to hit that like button and click that subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell so you'll know when we post some brand new videos. Come try little trout bait, you'll get some. Little trout. And yeah, and me. And me. And me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>